welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how I organize my life pretty much. It's not going to be um, my work stuff but it will be included a little bit. It's mainly how I manage my home and my YouTube and my cleaning list, um, my finances and my meal plan and grocery list. So it's just a, a way for me to keep organized and to make sure I am on top of everything. So um, I have a folder on my lap and it's just a regular three ring binder and it has pockets so that you can fill in the pockets with whatever you want. Um, I like to change the cover and I like to write or type up um, inspirational quotes or print out stuff that I really like, like a beautiful photo or an image that really kind of motivates me or puts me in a good mood or reminds me of something positive. Um, so the first section is my to-do list and it is for both home and work and I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit but these pages are just laminated I just printed these off of different websites and this one's a sample one but um, here's my home and work to-do list it's a little bit hard to see because of the reflection but on this side I have everything that I need to do for home and on this side I have everything that I need to do for work so I have that as my very first page because I like to really know what I need to do and lists have always worked great for me as a reminder and also I can clear off anything that I get done or leave whatever I haven't finished yet. So I like to know right away as soon as I wake up or before going to bed what I need to do for the next day. Um, after that I have a peak of the week that way I get a glance of what to expect during the week and what I'm gonna have in the next couple of days. So this is what this page looks like and so it's another printout um, up here I have the calendar days and then here I have to do's which is probably like priority things that I need to do and then here is what I will eat um, myself and my family and then what I need to buy and then here are just notes or things to think about it says thoughts so anything that I want to write on here I go ahead and do so the first page is a to-do list and the second page is a snapshot of the week and then it goes on to, and all these pages are laminated so you can use easily um, these different colored thin erasable markers and I just have them in the first folder of the folder, the first pocket of the folder. <laughs> um, next I have here a grocery list and so I like this printout because it has everything categorized so you have your fruits and vegetables, you have your protein, you have your everything that needs to go in the fridge um, and then down here you have your snacks, you have your pantry items and then things that need to go in the freezer so this is a grocery list and I do clean my refrigerator weekly my refrigerator and freezer weekly so then I do get to see what we have and what we still need um, so then I'll just write down on there, usually when I'm done cleaning the refrigerator, what we need. And also, uh, it helps to have it right next to my weekly meal planner, which is the very next page. And I get to see what we need for what we're going to um, eat. So this is just an example of last week. On Monday, we had tortas de carnitas. On Tuesday, we had chicken alfredo. And on Wednesday, we had rosary chicken with rice. Um, and veggies and then we had enchiladas on Thursday. I'm Latina so we have um, a lot of Latina foods or Latin foods but we do mix it up because I am kind of health oriented except for right now because I'm pregnant. Um, Fridays is restaurant or date night. That's last Friday we, um, we went out to eat so it was our little date night and then Saturday we had friends over so we decided to um, to take to have a takeout and then on Sunday we made a caldo de queso. Um, it was a little gloomy so we decided a caldo would be good. And I'm craving caldos so I decided that's what we would have. <laughs> um, so that's right next to each other. That's really helpful and it, gets, it gives you a sense of what you need for the meals that you're going to plan during the week. It's really important to plan your meals because it will make life a lot easier. And then up next is kind of my cleaning section and of course I know what I need to clean and um, my mom's a clean freak and me and my sister got that side of her so we're both clean freaks as well so I don't really need a checklist my mom never had a checklist so it's not like something that I'm used to but I thought it'd be nice just as a friendly reminder and just to have it 
as the section in my family management binder. So anyways, here is a list of um, the ultimate cleaning list. And I'll put links below in the description box of where I got these printouts. But this is just a nice list and it's a sample list of things that we might forget to do or that we, we might overlook to do. So this is more in depth. So for example, the kitchen, it says bleached garbage cans, make sure those are cleaned. Uh, bleached stove top and ovens, of course, toaster oven, clean microwave, um, clean and disinfect sink, countertops, dust the ceilings. Uh, defrost freezer and clean, clean out cupboards, uh, clean out and organize the drawers. And so then it goes into details about every section. So it has here what to do in detail and deep clean for the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the home office, the bedrooms, the bathroom. And then here there's a supply of lists. I'm sorry, a list of supplies that you'd need. So um, oven cleaner, paper towels, scrubbing brush, more sponges, towel cleaners. Um, just pretty much a list of things that you would need. It. It's nice to see visually what you might be missing. And then down here, it gives you a section for other items. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but um, that's what this list looks like. And then right next to it is my cleaning schedule. So what I do on a daily basis is I clean the countertops, I organize and I pick up anything that's on the floor because that's one of my pet peeves is seeing things on the floor. I, I cannot stand seeing things on the floor. I just think it makes the house look dirty and um, I just need everything to be picked up off the floor. So I organize and pick everything off the floor. I dust, um, I clean the countertops in the kitchen, wash dishes, sweep and mop. I can't just do one thing in the kitchen like countertops and just leave like that because it will irritate me. So I have to clean the countertops, wash the dishes, sweep, and then mop. I have to do the whole thing. Um, and that's a daily. That's a daily thing for me. And then for the living room, when I pick up and I dust, I have to vacuum because when you dust, things fall on the ground from like the coffee table or I don't know, the TV screen, all that dust falls onto the ground and I just can't leave it there. Just the thought of it on the ground grosses me out, so you have to vacuum. So I vacuum on a daily basis too. So those are some of the things that I do on a daily basis, but then I always pick like a hot spot, um, which is something that I want to focus or that I want to concentrate on cleaning that day. And it's like mini projects that you set yourself every day during the week. So on Monday, I have, every Monday, I clean the oven and the microwave and the fridge because usually on Tuesday and Wednesdays is when I go grocery shopping since it's less crowded. And then on Tuesday, my hot spot is cabinets and then my daily routine of sweeping, mopping, cleaning the dishes, the countertops, dusting and vacuuming the living room. Um, and then making the bed, of course. You always have to make the bed because if not, you're going to be, I feel like you're going to be tempted to go back into the bed. But if it's made on a daily basis, as soon as you get out of bed, then you're done. The bed looks good and you don't want to ruin it. So it just, it's a sign for you to start your day. Um, okay, back to this. Wednesdays is my mail and paperwork stuff or like office work. It, it's really easy for, especially if you work with case files, for paperwork to kind of accumulate and... Um, I'm sort of a minimalist, so I try to really go through my paperwork stuff on a weekly basis, which is midweek on Wednesdays, and kind of clear that out. And I'll talk a little bit more about how I do that in a future video. And then Thursdays, I decide to focus on closets. So if I see, I don't know, the linen closet getting a little disorganized, then I will work on the linen closet. If I see um, my personal closet getting a little disorganized, then I like to work on it. Uh, because usually I have wardrobes kind of lined up for the week except for Thursdays and Fridays for some reason. I don't know why. For some reason, I usually have a little bit more trouble deciding what I'm going to wear on Thursdays and Fridays. And I don't know why. But because of that, I know... I'm sorry, for Fridays and Saturday and Sunday. So because of that, I do my closet routine on Thursdays. And then on Fridays, um, I've really got in into tune with taking care of my car and making sure it's clean because if it's a clutter in the car then your life feels like a clutter and if it's messy then you're not going to be comfortable. 
neither is anybody else getting into your car. So you want to make sure that it's presentable and that you feel good when you're when you get into your car. Um, I do a lot of home visits for work, so then I drive around across town and I'm in my car for a, a lot, for a good amount of hours. You know, I have office work and then I have these home visits that I have to attend. So I want to be comfortable and clean and I like it, my car to smell clean. So I, I wash my car and clean out anything that I need to on Friday. And then Saturdays I'm concentrating on bathrooms because Bathrooms take a little bit longer, so Saturday is definitely the day that I do the restrooms. And then that way if you have visitors coming, then everything's clean and it's fresh and um, it's comfortable for everybody, right? And then on Sundays, I focus on laundry. Sundays, we usually stay home and then we go to um, my baby dad's family to go eat dinner. So it's pretty relaxed and that's when I really catch up and do laundry. I wash... Um, you know, linen, towels, blankets, pillowcases, clothes. Um, I pretty much ded dedicate that to laundry. So those are kind of um, the things that I do for my we my weekly cleaning. And then I do concentrate on like the deep cleaning. Um, I do my hot spots during the week, and then I do the deep cleaning every month. I have like really deep cleaning and then of course spring cleaning and winter cleaning are also something that I really concentrate on where I pretty much will move a, a, a room around and then try to set up like a, a different feeling or environment for that room so if it's Christmas I like to move things around and make sure it's clean and I'll try to incorporate a little bit of the season so um, so, okay, so the next one is my finances. So this is a monthly um, monthly bill checklist, and it's pretty basic. I have here all the things that I, I need to pay, and then this is a monthly outline of what needs to get paid. So you check off, as you pay things, you check them off. So this is January, February, March, and it goes on. Um, so that's what I have checked off. So I this is just like... I don't know, a quick guideline of what you need to pay and what you haven't paid for that month. Um, whatever I see that's not checked off here, I actually have in a separate little binder that I keep at the very back of this binder. But this is um, a home organization and home finance and bill organizer. And um, I do try to go paperless at all times with all my bills, but sometimes uh, companies still do send you envelopes. And so then this is pretty nice. This is, we're in the beginning of this month, so this we're in November. And so I just stick whatever bills that I need to review in these pockets, and then I usually will write it down right here. Um, but then at the end of the week, on Wednesdays, when I go through all my paperwork, I will pull out these envelopes, and I will go through them, and then shred whatever I don't need. So... Um, that's just a little bit of how I go through my finances and keep my bills organized and make sure that I'm on top of my stuff. Um, but I usually do do auto payments, so there's not a lot that I really need to go over. It's just kind of, you know, like a way to calm my mind and make sure that everything's getting paid because even though everything's on auto pay, it's important to always check your bank statements, your bank account, um, and then the transactions that are going on back and forth so that you know, you don't get ripped off anywhere and you know and you're aware of what's going on with your money. I've heard stories about like, oh, I didn't know that so-and-so was taking money out of my account. Like, I remember one time I was in college and I was living in Brazil and I had been there for like six months. And when I came back, um, I noticed that Starbucks was taking out money from my account. And it wasn't a lot. It was like 250 or whatever however much coffee cost at that time and I didn't realize it and I was like that's impossible I never got Starbucks in Brazil I was living in Brazil so there it was just really odd so I keep a close eye on my stuff even though they're on auto pay um so that's just a little tip or advice for you guys and then the next part of my home management binder is this YouTube project organizer so what I like to do and I apologize for the reflection, but up here I will write down the week. And this was an example of last week. So it says near Halloween. Um, it gives me a little bit of an idea of what kind of things I can do. 
and what kind of videos I can record for holidays that are coming up or special occasions or big events. Um, and then I have here, well, this is, this is like recording my, or organizing my pregnancy videos, my vlogs that I'm doing for my pregnancy. Um, so right here I write the title of the video and then I write on this side how many videos I plan to record and upload that week. Um, and then for my pregnancy video, so this is week 17 pregnancy, I'm in week 18 now, but this is from last week. My symptoms, I wrote down my symptoms and then I wrote down um, kind of the, the shape of my baby and the size and facts about it, its development. And then down here I wrote events that happened during the week. So uh, in my last video, my last pregnancy vlog, I talked about having gone on motherhood and all the great coupons and gift cards that they gave me for free just for registering with them. And then I also talked about going to Babies R Us um, and getting some free gifts from them as well. And about my baby brain because I've had major baby brain, which means you lose focus and attention and you say some of the funniest things. And so this is really nice to keep myself organized with the baby brain. Excuse me. Okay, and then next is the video of the week. So then I'll kind of list here what are some upcoming videos. Not only the videos that I will do that week, but upcoming videos for the next week or the following week. And then here you have the days of the week. And so then I can just jot down what other things I'm having outside of YouTube that I really need to pay close attention to. So we had to do benefits, our open enrollment on Monday and Tuesday. So I wrote that down here. So that way, uh, yes, YouTube is a big part of my weekly, I guess, activity now. But I, I do keep my job as number one because I can't lose focus on that since that's what pays my bills. And then hopefully YouTube um, will be something that can kind of supplement, um, supplement that. But anyways, for right now, since I'm just beginning with YouTube, this is a good way to organize my stuff um, and a quick snapshot for me to just look at. I know a lot of things are done electronically now, but I kind of like writing things down because it really kind of ingrains in my brain. And I like visually seeing something on hand, especially when you're droggy and you just woke up. Um, I do have apps on my phone that help me keep organized and I can link those below in the description box too, but I think I'm a little old school and I like this. I like having this on hand as well. So I'm not so dependent on technology. Okay, so this is a yearly calendar that I keep because it allows me to see previous dates and future days and kind of plan ahead. And then right next to it is a calendar. So I keep here um, a list of the families that I go visit and then kind of their visit schedule here. And at the very back of this binder, I do have the final pocket. And in this pocket, I keep coupons. So um, any coupons that I may see in the mail or some of the magazines that I receive or some that I might print out or get from other people, then I will put those in there. Um, and I will keep those for whenever I need to use them or that I can take advantage of those deals. So that is a little bit about my kind of family home management binder and how I keep my life organized with this binder. Um, you don't need a laminator to do this. My, my pages are laminated, but you don't need a laminator. Uh, you can use those pa paper page protectors and those work just fine. Um, the erasable markers work just fine on that and you can erase it. So I like having the ability to be able to use those erasable markers on these laminated sheets because it prevents you from collecting paperwork. Regular paper calendars you use and then you toss, but once you use a month and you go on to the following month, then, sorry, I had to click on my <laughs> computer screen because I'm recording on my computer. But anyways, uh, you have to keep all of that paperwork. And paperwork, when it accumulates, it gets pretty heavy. And this you can just use, wipe off, forget about what you already completed. It's done, it's taken care of, and move on. So just a little helpful tip if you want to incorporate something like this in, in your lifestyle. Like, subscribe, or comment on this video if you did enjoy it. And hopefully we will see you in future videos. Mm -hmm.